My, my basic uh, view is that if, if, when you lead an organization, big or small, you are inevitably going to cross decisions where it's not obvious what the right thing to do is. In other words, there are sort of consequences on both sides. Um, and those, when those things come up, you, you have to apply you know, good judgment. You have to use your ethical frameworks to think through the thing. And um, the only thing I recommend always to my people, and I try to keep reminding myself, is, is not to use a financial framework first and then use my ethics to rationalize my decision later, which is always doable, especially when it's got two sides. You can pick what's good for you or what's good for your finan the financials, and then you can figure out some way to explain it. You'll find a philosopher somewhere who will back you up. Instead, think about what you think you should do, and then figure out what the financial consequences are, and then figure out how to mitigate those. So if you think this is the right answer and it has negative financial consequences, do the right thing and then figure out, work your tail off to figure out how to mitigate the negative financial consequences. And oftentimes you can't, you know, ingenuity, when given a tough problem, you can oftentimes find ways to mitigate the bad, bad impacts. But the post-rationalization is a slippery slope. And, and I just think some of the worst transgressions start out by a very simple decision to maybe choose the financial or the more expedient way or the more financially attractive way with some post-rationalization and then the next one and the next one. And before you know it, you're down in a place you're thinking, how did I ever get here? And wishing you weren't there. And I think that's what you need to avoid.